upon a time. Oh, I want to tell it. Me too. Okay, we'll all tell it. Wonderful. Mm-hmm. Uh, you start. Once upon a time, in the magical kingdom of Enchantia, there lived a young girl named Sophia. Sophia led a simple life, working at the village shoe shop with her mother, Miranda. One fateful day, they were summoned by King Roland II, who needed a new pair of royal slippers. Oh, I hope they're blue. No, red. We'll see. Sophia and her mother arrived at the castle. Sophia was very excited to meet the king. Miranda placed a slipper on the king's foot. It was a perfect fit, and so were they. King Roland and Miranda were soon married. And what seemed like a storybook ending was really a storybook beginning. Sophia, it's time to go. Come on, honey, the coach is waiting. Coming. Sophia, now that we're living in the castle, you're going to have your own bedroom. Yes! First, once upon a princess. Uh oh, looks like someone's not going to be the fairest in the land anymore. Amber, James, I trust you'll do your best to make your new sister feel welcome. Of course, Father. Your Majesty. <laughs> King Roland the Second. Queen Miranda. Good morrow, Sophia. Great morrow, Prince James. Princess Amber, I'm so excited for sisters. Stepsisters. Amber, James, I know there aren't many fairy tales about kind and loving stepmothers, but I hope to change that. <laughs> These are for you. I sewed them myself. It's our family crest. That's right, James, because that is what all this is really about, becoming a new family. Sophia, welcome to the family. All hail Queen Miranda and Princess Sophia. Rohi Flora! Cedric, I said flowers, not showers. <laughs> Excuse me, Your Highness. I'm still breaking in my new wand. That's Cedric, our royal sorcerer. He comes from a long line of royal sorcerers, so we're stuck with him. Mm. Ooh, rose petals. <laughs> should I wait? Yes, you should wave. Right. Hi! Hello! We don't have to curtsy unless they're royalty. I think it's going to take me a while to get the hang of things around here. Just follow my lead and you'll be okay. Great! That means I lead, you follow. Oh, okay. Following. Well, be careful, mate. That's the new princess's throne. Child, watch where you're dawdling. <gasps> Mr. C. 
Cedric. It's Cedric. It's so great to meet a real live sorcerer. That flower trick was amazing. If by amazing you mean a complete waste of my talents, then yes, thank you. I should be out slaying dragons, battling ogres. But no, King Roland has me doing parlor tricks when I should be. Mr. Cedric? <clears throat> I am Bailiwick, the castle's steward. It is my responsibility to make sure everything in the castle is where it should be, when it should be, and you, my dear, should be in the banquet hall 30 seconds ago. Oh, right. Off you go. Going. <laughs> Sophia? Ah! Uh, yes, your majesty? <laughs> Call me Roland. Or you with a crown. Or dad? It's a tradition to provide an official welcome to every new member of the royal family. For your mother, it was the wedding. But for you, we will be throwing a royal ball in your honor at week's end. Brilliant. James Manners. I'm sorry. A ball? Just for me? Father, why didn't I get a ball? You did, Amber, when you and your brother were born. You don't remember? Sophia, it will be your royal debut, and you and I shall dance the first waltz. Oh, Roly, you're so sweet. I have to dance? Why, what better way to let everyone in the Tri-Kingdom area know that Princess Sophia has arrived. This is my room? No, sweetie. This is your room. It's so huge. Looks like the standard princess suite to me. You've got your canopy bed, window seat, playing area, reading nook, and in here, you'll find all your gowns and royal accessories. Now, if you need anything at all, any time of day, all you have to do is ring the spell. Yes, Mom. You rang. Do you need anything? I don't know. Do I? Well, when you know what you need, you know what to do. What's the matter, sweetheart? I don't want a royal ball. Oh, Sophia. I've never known you to turn down a party, especially one thrown just for you. But I don't know anything about being a princess. And I don't know how to dance. I'm going to trip, and, and everyone's going to laugh at me. You'll do fine. And besides, no one ever laughs at a princess. Says who? Come here, Sophia. Just try the best you can. And if it's not good enough for all those stuffy dukes and duchesses, then that's their problem. Mm-hmm. Sophia, I have something for you. Consider it a welcome gift. It's beautiful. It's a very special amulet, so you must promise to never take it off. That way you'll never lose it. I promise. <laughs> now, you best run off to bed. You have princess school in the morning. Princess school? Royal prep, where all the princes and princesses from every kingdom go to learn our royal ways, including everything you'd need to know for the royal ball which I'm very much looking forward to. Me too. Thank you. Good night, Sophia. Night. Everything's going to be just fine. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Cedric. Cedric, why can't you emulate? Isn't it lovely? The king gave it to me. Well, good night. Ha, 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 ha.